Hey everybody, this is Sylvie Curry, Lady of Q. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be cooking something that's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but something that I think is considered uh, one of the bases of some southern cooking. Today we're going to be doing, wait for it, pig feet, pig ears, and some pork hocks. I'm going to slow cook them in my Dutch oven with some seasonings, herbs, and things like that over a few hours it's going to take. Uh, no barbecue, no sauce, or anything like that. Just good old southern cooking. Pig feet, pig ears, and pork hocks. Let's go do this. Here I have my cleaned pig ears. I've got pig feet that have been cut by the butcher and I've got some pork hocks. These have been soaked in water overnight, washed, rewashed, and washed again. So they're pretty clean. Uh, we're going to be doing these babies so let's get on it. Cooking pig feet, pig ears, pork hocks is actually quite a simple process. The basic thing that we need to do is just get them tender. And that's just going to require a long, slow braise or cook. What goes into this? Very simple. We're going to use about six to eight cups of water. I've got garlic. And this is about ten cloves of garlic sliced. Jalapeno about four to five stalks of celery diced and about one large onion diced. In addition, I've got some yellow bell pepper, red bell pepper, and green bell pepper. These were previously frozen. They came from my garden last year and I had so much of it I just chopped it up, put it in the freezer and as needed. I pull it out and here it is. Very good for soups and things like that because you don't need the crunch. Apple cider vinegar, we're going to put in maybe about a quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar and this helps in the tenderizing process. Our seasoning mixture, I've mixed together salt, pepper, some dried oregano, dry thyme, about uh, two teaspoons full of um, black pepper. The salt in this is about, probably about four teaspoons of salt. Uh, in addition, in here I have a star anise. That's something you typically don't see in the recipes. However, when you look at some of the processes for um, Asian cuisine, especially Vietnamese, a lot of star anise is used. So I thought I would add that just for a little mm. It's got a licorice type flavor to it, but one little star anise should not overpower um, the amount of food that I have here to cook. Let's do this, okay? Let's put this stuff together.
We're going to cook this over medium heat until it gets to a boil. Then we'll lower it a little bit. I left a little bit of a crack here so the steam can come out so that the liquid doesn't overflow. And um, we'll come back and I'll show you what I have in about an hour. And then I'll do a two hour review. And then hopefully by close to the third hour, it's nice and tender and ready to eat. One hour in. We are at the two hour mark. A little ways to go, just a little more tenderizing to do. Hey there, Sylvia Curry, Lady of Q, in my kitchen. Today cooking pig ears, pork hocks, and some pig feet. This is gonna go with some lima beans and some rice, and to make it healthy, we're gonna have a salad on the side. If you like what you see, and you wanna see more of this, let me know. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Make a comment. Let me know what you think of this meal. Sylvie Curry once again, Lady of Q.